Hi there, Charlie Stevens from Guildford City Boxing Club, and I'm an under 80 kg boxer. Cool. So we thought um, we'd we'll just talk about a bit about your boxing career and start off right from the beginning, really. So tell me a little bit like how you got into boxing. I was about 10 years old, and I was getting bullied in school. So um, I went to boxing gym, Guildford City Boxing Club, to learn how to box, just to learn like, how to defend myself and that. And um, from the very first session, I've, I loved boxing. Just loved it. Wanted to go again. Since then, I've, yeah, I've been doing it every week since since I was 10 years old, and now I'm 17. So you got the bug basically for it. Yeah, yeah. It's more. It's not a hobby. It's more of a life. Like you love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's part, big part of my life, really. How did you find like so? Obviously, you, you went to the gym to uh, uh, kind of prevent the the, the bullying and what have yeah. you. How did you feel about the training? Did that did, did that excite you, or you, was that hard? Yeah, it was. Also, I was nervous at first. Found it found it hard, but then I just started punching the boxing bag and but I loved it and then yeah it was hard at first but then boxing's always hard it's never mm. easy never easy you got the fitness how to how, you get better you always progress and it is it's hard it's still hard to this day but I love it and discipline as well discipline 100 percent discipline oh. yeah um, so in regards to when you first came in the gym and you know explained the situation about the, the, the bullying, uh, did you know did, from that did did you manage to kind of like prevent prevent that sort of things of happening? You know, was it a uh, yeah. to kind of defend yourself outside of the ring? Shall we say? Yeah. So in boxing, I've um, every boxer could probably agree with me. You get a lot more confident, not as a boxer but as a person. You become a lot more confident. Um, and yeah, so obviously the guy that was bullying me back in like year six, um, he just stopped picking really. And then um, never actually got into a fight out of the boxing gym, so I don't want to really keep my weapons yeah, and that. Of course, you know I mean? of course. Because with boxing, they, um, they say if your fists are trained, so you, they, they, they throw as weapons, don't they? So yeah, I don't really get into fights and that. So you stop the bullying and yeah. Well, about your first amateur fight, how, how did that? How did you feel about that? Because uh, I was year, I was twelve. Yeah. I think I was, I was about twelve. I was at school. I get a phone call from my mum. You're not going to detention later because we've got a fight. I was like, oh, right, lovely. Went home, had dinner, went to Crawley, and boxed a boy who I previously had a skills bout with, and I beat him on unanimous in, on his own show in Crawley. And I was oh, so nervous for it. And then afterwards, I loved it. I couldn't wait to get back in the ring. I was say, how, how did you feel afterwards? It must have been such an emotion. It meant the world, honestly. Yeah, it means so much. From that, was that like the confidence, like, you know, I've had my first proper fight, you know, and then the confidence, <clears> like, kind of came to, like, right, I can maybe take this quite seriously. 100%. And um, well, it's never too late to get into boxing, but especially I was 12 years old when I had my first fight. You've, you're only going to get better as a boxer. and. I just wanted to get back in the ring, I had a fight a couple of weeks later and it's gone from there really. In regards to like long term, do you see yourself actually turning professional? Yeah, I do, yeah, I'd love to. Um, I've yeah, been boxing for just 10, 17, so about seven years. And I've had a break for the past two months, I had a fight in October, national semi-finals. That didn't go my way sadly, but we go again. I had a break for a while, but I'm getting back into it. Hopefully have a fight in the next two months. Okay, so, so yeah, uh, pro, pro long term, it is yeah. something you want to do. Yeah. Um, and talk to me about your, uh, your train with Ben. Ben uh, Yeah, tell me a little bit about that relationship. It's, um, so, he was, he was there for me since I first stepped one foot into the gym, Ben, and um, great coach. Means means a lot. Um, he'll do anything for his boxers as well. Takes you up and down the country for fights, up and down the country mm. for sparring. He'll do anything. Sometimes if I can't get a lift to, to training, he'll come pick me up, join mm. me back home. Um, same as Mike Bartel. He's they're both great coaches. Do anything for you, for boxers. Yeah. So, you know, <clears throat> it's nice to kind of see you know that development. And you know, obviously you're proud of him. He's proud of you. So. Uh, um, so what did you say your next next fight it will be? Well, hopefully within a couple of months. Um, Need to get a bit more fitter, I think. Get back into the gym, mm. get a bit more fit, and hopefully the next home show. Mm. We've got one, I think, in May mm -hmm. in York Hall. Yes, York the program. Bethnal, yep. yeah, Bethnal Green. That, yeah. yeah, hopefully I'll get matched on that show. Um, but I'd like to um, have a few more fights, like away shows and that, ASAP, really. Do you find do you find the away shows is more pressure, less pressure? Uh, depends who you have with you. It depends who you're boxing. Obviously, any opponent, any fight, you're yeah. gonna be nervous, aren't you? And um, 
it, I feel like, yeah, more pressure. You're, you're mm. away from home. You ain't got as much support as you would on your home yeah. show. But, yeah, it is a lot of pressure. It's pressure, obviously, on your own home show as well. Yeah, of course. I can imagine it's, you know, especially with your friends and family there, it's, uh, oh, yeah, you know, trying to concentrate. But, yeah. no, it's awesome. Awesome, like, kind of uh, meeting you and catching up with you today. Yeah, you got social you. media? Yes. Yeah, go on, shout out your Instagram. Instagram, cstevens180. Brilliant. I'll add that to the end of the video. Lovely. Cool. Nice one. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much.